Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would film an August favourites video for you guys but theme it along beauty as you all know I love makeup and beauty products and yeah so I've just sort of raided my dressing table and my makeup drawers to find the products that I am absolutely loving this month. I've got quite a few to show you so I'm going to go straight into it. So the first one is this YSL Couture Eyeliner. Now, they sent me every shade, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. But obviously, every day I wear, well, I say every day, pretty much every day, I love to do a flick and I mainly do it in black. So I'm loving their number one shade, which is Jet Black. I'm just going to draw a bit on my hand here so you guys can see. So it's basically got like a felt tip nib and it's really pointy so you get a really nice sharp line. And yeah, I'm just loving it. It also lasts all day. I know some eyeliners that I've used before can go quite like, not bitty but kind of brush off throughout the day. But this one's amazing. It's long lasting. I love the brush on it as well. Just gives you a really, really nice smooth line and you don't get any sort of excess liquid you know whatever you draw is how it comes out basically so yeah really really loving that at the moment next up i've got the urban decay heavy metal glitter eyeliner now the shade is called amp i'm literally loving this one because as you know i am a mermaid at heart and i absolutely love anything blue and green and this is basically a mixture of both with some sort of iridescent silver as well so it's amazing i'm absolutely loving it you guys know i love glitter anyway so this one i love to use like putting over eyeliner so sometimes i even do like the black eyeliner and then just put that over the top I'll show you what it looks like because i just think it looks amazing i don't know if you guys can see there so you can create like a sparkly black line eye or you can just have it by itself. So absolutely loving that. It also comes out really, really well. So I always like to just go over and sort of dab it on just because I feel like if you just sort of draw a line with this brush, then it doesn't really get enough glitter on. If you like it that way, then it's great, but I really like it to be sort of like a nice, heavy, thick glitter line. And so I always sort of just do the line first and then just dab it on over the top. And um, yeah, it's just much more effective. So yeah, absolutely loving that. Next up, I've got another glittery product. And that is Ciate London's Glitter Flip. Now, I am freaking loving this one. It's basically a liquid lipstick. That, so this one is shade Iconic. And I've got it on now. So I put it over a... Anastasia Beverly Hills green shimmery liquid lipstick but I don't know if you can see that it looks black but when you move oh camera come on when you move it's sort of kind of can you see it shimmering blue it's literally amazing so it's kind of like well it says glitter flip you can see the actual bottle looks black but when you move it it's got a lot of shimmers in there and it kind of looks like a shimmery bluey purple such a cool product really really loving this they've got different shades i've got another one actually which is this one here which is more of a purple but it's got a lot of sort of shimmers in it that one is fortune i haven't tried that shade out yet but I love this one because i love a dark sort of gothy lipstick and now we're getting into autumn winter I can kind of get back into wearing my, I mean I wear dark colours anyway all the time, but I just love awesome makeup and how you can make it really dark and gothic-y. So yeah, really, really loving this glitter flip. I'm not sure how many shades that they do, but yeah, as I said, this one's called Iconic and also how friggin' amazing is the packaging. So cool, I'm loving this glittery lid. Right, next up, another lip product. I've got the Pixie, oh. The Pixie Skin Treats Nourishing Lip Polish. Now, I struggle with my lips. They get very dry and, I mean, I'm bad. I do bite them and bite the skin off, which is gross. But, I mean, that's what I do. 
So I have started using lip scrubs, like, you know, the sugary kind of ones. But I got sent this, so thank you. And I am loving it because I don't know if you can see, if I try and focus it, is that it's actually got like spiky bits on the end. Can you see? So basically you squeeze out, it's kind of like a really nourishing balm. I think it's flavoured. I'm sure it's flavoured in like grapefruit or something. So when you squeeze out the balm from inside, it kind of goes, it comes out of the middle of these spiky bits and then you exfoliate your lips with the little spiky bits whilst obviously nourishing them with the balm. So such an amazing little invention there. Um, I never knew someone did something like that before, but it's actually amazing and I love it. And I always pop this on when I first start doing my makeup. So I'll do, you know, I'll put my um, Laura Mercer primer on, this one here. I'll put that on first and then I will use this to exfoliate my lips and then I'll let the balm sort of set in and smooth my lips and soothe them and then when I come to do my lips at the end of my makeup tutorial they're all prepped and ready for a liquid lipstick because I always do find liquid lipsticks do tend to sort of dry my lips out a little bit it doesn't really help my dry lips situ um but yes yeah, so loving that pixie product next up I'm going to move on to my actually I'm going to leave that one last I'm going to move on to I'm going to stick with makeup still so i'm loving this mermaids highlight palette from lime crime i mean obviously because it's to do with mermaids when you open it up it looks like this how amazing is this packaging as well and you've got like a purple a sort of peachy color and then a blue highlighter it's amazing i'm loving it i've got one on now actually i've got the blue one it's so cool it's really pigmented and you don't need to put that much on so this palette will last for ages and yeah, it's just really, really fun to use. So loving that. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen, but Urban Decay brought out a new Naked palette called the Naked Heat. This is it. They kindly sent it to me and I am frigging loving it. It is so good. I've only used a couple of shades at the moment. These sort of these three here, this one, and a couple of the darker ones. But I am so pleased. It's so pigmented. I also like the kind of deep kind of colours that it's got they're really pigmented so the colour shows up so like intense which I love especially for autumn winter and yeah I mean you don't need to put a lot on for it to show up which is great as well because it means the palette will last for ages so it's worth the money and I love the brush that it comes with as well so their brushes are always really good but you get sort of the double ended so you can blend with this end but apply more of like a condensed intense shadow with this end and um yeah i just love it really and with the whole sort of flames trend that's out at the moment you know it just works really really well so loving that also the packaging so cool and lastly i'm moving on to hair now now you might have watched in one of my weekly vlogs recently a, sorry my phone keeps vibrating go away um that hair mists are a thing and i didn't know that they were a thing i've never heard of them before and i've got this one from alien and i absolutely love it it smells unreal and all you do is just give your hair a little bit of a spritz i find that my hair when i go outside always attracts like the outside smell like smoke or whatever's outside basically wherever i am if i'm in a coffee shop i feel like my hair smells like coffee it like grab smells and just keeps it so it's amazing that they've got hair mist now so i've got this alien one it literally honestly it's so so nice and yeah i just love to use it i just give my hair a little bit of a spritz like this just a few sprays and my hair soaks up the scent and i smell amazing and i just really want to do like hair flicks to for people to like smell my hair because it smells amazing um but yeah absolutely loving that and also it's a really good size to pop in your hat bag. So yes, yeah, so that's the Moogler Alien Hair Mist. And that's it. That's all my um, beauty favourites for August. I mean, I probably do have more, but they're my key ones that I could think of to prep for this video. Um, yeah, I'll pop all links below if you want to check any of them out. 
highly recommend all of them and yeah thanks so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one peace out